It's about time I share some all natural coloring hacks that are easy to create and free of synthetic dyes. If you're new here, hey, what's up? My name is Tara. And if you're new to formulating, go watch my formulating for beginner series. We're gonna be starting with the color orange. This is a oil soluble coloring hack. So I'm gonna start with a really light colored oil. This is called caprylic caprylic triglyceride. It's an emollient ester, it is natural. So you are able to color this without having to deal with other colorants like grapeseed oil, hoba oil, other oils have a lot of pigment to them, so you want to find an oil that has like no color to it. And I'm going to use this ingredient called Q Max Coenzyme Q10. This is an antioxidant. It's actually amazing for your skin as well. So not only are you going to be getting a color benefit from this ingredient, but also skin benefits. So if you want to color any oils you have or any products like scrubs or body butters, body oils, facial oils, this is a great way to color them orange. Or if you are making a lotion or any other kind of an emulsion, like a hair conditioner, you could also use this to color those orange, whatever you want to do. You're going to have to make some turmeric infused oil. I promise it's super easy, but you do have to go watch another video to learn how to do this. All you gotta do is put some turmeric powder in some tea bags, add in an oil. Here I use apricot kernel oil, but in my last tutorial, I use jojoba oil. Depending on the oil you use, the turmeric infused oil will have a different color. Here mine has a vivid yellow color, but you can change the vibrancy or shade of the color by diluting it with other oils. I actually created a video quite a while ago about how to make a body scrub, face wash, and a body butter using this turmeric infused oil. So there's all kinds of different products you can make with this turmeric infused oil. So have fun formulating making your products yellow. Let me know what you're gonna make. Who knew making your products blue was so freaking easy? I've heard about this ingredient for so long, but I just now decided to purchase it and try it out. Blue Tansy Essential Oil. I'll link to exactly where I purchased mine. Surprise, surprise, this has a fragrance to it. I don't know, maybe I've just never paid attention, but I didn't realize this had a scent to it. All you need is just one drop to get a gorgeous blue shade. Of course, I'm using caprylic, caprylic triglyceride, again, just to show you the vibrancy with a clear oil. You use whatever oil you want and add as many drops as possible. Just make sure you're using it within a safe usage rate check with the supplier where you purchased it. It is oil soluble and it is heat sensitive. So make sure you add it to the end of formulations and use an appropriate solubilizer if you are formulating a watery solution. All right, we're skipping around the colors of the rainbow a bit here, but here we are at green. Green, we gotta use a little bit of color theory. What we're gonna do is combine the turmeric infused oil that is yellow with the blue tansy essential oil actually over on my blog i do share a few other methods to color your products blue but i didn't have any of those so um if you want more methods there's also other methods to color your products orange i always expand on topics over on patreon and i always post two bonus videos a month over there so if you want more content from me go over there yellow and blue make green so basically if you want to make a lotion i would add the turmeric infused oil in the heated oil phase and then add the blue tansy essential oil at the cool down phase. And there you go, you have a green lotion. And of course, if you want to make a facial oil, body oil, body scrub, body butter, just mix those two oils together. Bam, you got green, so easy, who knew? It's my favorite color, pink. And it's kind of the inspiration for this entire video. I discovered this ingredient, Campo Pink Hydrophilic. The inky name is in the corner. It's a combination of botanical extracts that make your product look pink. It is pH sensitive. So depending on the pH, the color may vary. Also the color can change over time since these are natural ingredients. That goes for all of these natural colorants. And I purchased it from dauphineorganics.com. I'll have it linked below. 
here's how it looked in a lotion. And I'm gonna show you guys how I made a rose essence water using the Campo Pink Hydro uh, Philic ingredient. This formula is all natural. It's formulated with rose water and witch hazel, has collagen pre-peptide and betaine, so it's great for dry skin, mature skin. It makes a wonderful soothing and hydrating toner essence, and you can even use it as a face mask if you have those soaking toner pads. So I begin by adding in some distilled water, some witch hazel hydrosol, this helps soothe the skin. It has tightening effects, balancing properties. Overall, it helps tone the skin and create a more even complexion. I also added in the rose hydrosol. This adds a natural rose scent, but it's also soothing. It's great for dry and mature skin types. And if you guys want to make your own rose hydrosol at home, Go check out this video by one of my patrons, Grace. It's a great tutorial on how to make your own rose hydrosol at home. I have had so many requests from you guys asking me to make this. Grace got you covered. Link down below. Then I added in the preservative. I used GeoGuard ECT. This is a natural eco cert compliant preservative. Go watch my videos all about preservatives. You shouldn't be asking me any questions because I have so much content on preservatives. I got you covered with that or go buy my cheat sheet, 20 bucks over on my website. That way you can figure out what preservative is always best for whatever product you're making. Now, if you wanna sell cosmetics, add in TSGD. If uh, you wanna keep your products natural, this is a chelating agent. You could also use sodium phytate. I have a video all about chelating agent. It's available to YouTube members and my patrons. So go watch that if you want to learn more and if you want to sell cosmetics and you're more serious about that. Now, the key ingredient I'm using here is collagen pre-peptide. This is tripeptide 29. This is essentially collagen that meh, it absorbs in your skin easier. That's the best way I can explain it without going into all the details, but it's an anti-aging ingredient and it's the main ingredient in this product. If you don't have it, you can substitute it with another water-soluble ingredient, but I am also going to add in betaine. I'm using it at a pretty high percentage. So that's what's going to be making this product so hydrating. You can add in different humectants here if you want, whatever you want to do. The formula is over on my Patreon if you want to recreate this exact product. Then of course we're adding in the pink colorant. This is a combination of natural botanical extracts that isn't meant to color your product. It's just a perk of the ingredients. So really I'm just adding in a botanical extract to add benefits to make your skin more beautiful. But guess what? It also makes my product pink. And the product's color can vary depending on the pH. The natural pH of this product is at 4.76. If you wanna leave it there, that's fine. But I did end up raising it just a little bit. If you wanna learn how to raise your product's pH, I've covered that topic before. Um, you could use sodium hydroxide. You can use L-arginine. Um, Raviga Cosmetics has a great video on that. There's lots of methods. You can use this toner in the AM and PM. Use it after cleansing, but before your moisturizer. And it's for all skin types. Now, last purple or violet, whatever you want to call it. What are those words on the screen? Oh, it, it's, an, it's an ad for my pore shrinking niacinamide and a witch hazel toner or essence a water whatever you want to call it formula i shared over on patreon this month so if you want this formula as well go over to my patreon sign up for the five dollar tier or higher i used this last color i want to talk about which is campo violets hydrophilic and this turns your products purple violet whatever you like to call the color i call it purple and you can use it between 0.2% to 2%. And again, it's pH dependent. It's very, it, it literally works the exact same way as the last ingredient we just talked about. It's a combination of botanical extracts. So it is natural. It's not a, it's not meant to be a colorant. It just, that's just a side effect of it. So adds great benefits to your skin, but also turns your product purple. And you want to use a chelating agent to keep it stable. Um, here's some natural ones, sodium phytate, TSGD, uh, gluconolactone could also work. I go into more detail over on my Patreon for the blog. You can check that out. I also share some other 
coloring methods to turn the product orange, turn the product blue. I didn't have those ingredients, so I just talked about those over on the blog. And yeah, I post two bonus videos over there. So much more stuff over there if you're serious about formulating and want to make your products stable that last a long time for your customers. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye-bye. Also, don't forget to go over and check out my Patreon where I post two exclusive videos every single month. So there is a ton of videos you can go over and binge watch for only $5 a month. Also, if you don't have access to Patreon in your country, you can sign up as a YouTube member instead. If you sign up for the $10 tier on my Patreon, you get a shout out for your small business. I'll have all these brands linked below. LloydCandleCompany.com HB Royal Retreat Store on Etsy naturesfarmgirl.com, let's blend LLC, at Stardust Bath and Body, hempygirl.com, shoplevis.com, owl and lily over on Etsy, skin lounge co over on Etsy, blackpedalbeauty.com, embracebeautyessentials.com, legendarybathandbody.com, astariapothecary.com, Revega Cosmetics here on YouTube, exorebb.com, pardonaturals.com, naturalstateskin.com, thenatureinus.ca, nearcatalier.com, use the code on the screen for 20% off, earthandambernaturals.com, sharkcitynaturals.com, daytorelaxproducts.com, crownedglorylc.com, lhscentedsoapsandmore.com, JanaeRose.com, Health Nut Beauty on Etsy, VelvetTemptations.com, JourneyRoseBeauty.com, CHRBrands.com, Homestead Life Goods on Etsy, CanelaBathAndBody.com, MadhouseMamaSoaps.com, Xpo.com, Mystical Morning on Etsy, Seventh House and Oak on Etsy, and MyCrownAndGlory.com. Thank you so much for your guys' support. Without you guys over on Patreon, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. So thank you so much.